Hi guys, welcome to another video. Oh my God, happy um, Thanksgiving. I know Halloween is just over and I still have my haunted decorations up. So if you are watching this, I assume it's probably four in the morning and you are probably been up all night crying. Is that right? Um, so you've recently been broken up with and I'm sure you feel completely terrible. There's like, I've read studies that are, say that like losing somebody that you love, like going through a breakup is like the same withdrawal as like a drug. So it like hits the same receptors in your brain as drugs to be in love with somebody. So now that you don't have that person, I'm sure you're going through an incredibly difficult moment in your life. But by the time that you are done with this video, you are going to feel a little bit better. So when somebody breaks up with you, even let's say you have the greatest relationship in the world, a big problem that you're gonna feel is the rejection. Even if you didn't have a good relationship, the rejection is actually what's burning you the most, not really the loss of the other person. And what happens is when we go through this rejection, we start to think that we start glamorizing the relationship in our heads. We start making it into bigger than what it was because we have lowered ourselves down with feeling the rejection from this other person. So you are putting yourself down. You're making yourself feel like, oh, I'll never have something better than this. I'll never be worthy to you know, find someone like this again because they've rejected you. So they put themselves kind of like in your mind above you because you are the one being rejected. That doesn't mean that that's true. That could be completely untrue. Just because this person rejected you does not mean that they're better than you. You might be better than them, and honestly, you probably are. But, <laughs> but right now what you're feeling is that pain of rejection. And be honest with yourself, is it really the loss of this person, or is it feeling like I am not worthy or as not as worthy as I thought I was. I think if you're honest with yourself, you'll think, you know, I was good before I met this person. They did provide me with happiness, but think about relationships you had in high school or very early on in life and how you thought that that person was the person you were going to marry. And now looking back, would you be happy if you had married them? And I'm sure your answer is gonna probably be no. So think about that in this phase of your life. 10 years from now, you might not feel the same way. And just cause you feel like that person is better than you right now, 10 years from now, I guarantee you, you're not gonna feel that way. What you're feeling and the pain you're feeling is just your mind trying to wrap around the rejection. You will be okay. You will get through this and you just need to keep your head clear knowing that this is just the rejection. This is your mind going through the withdrawal and feeling the rejection and trying to piece together why you're not good enough. But that's not the case. So the reason the person broke up with you is because something happened where they stopped valuing you as much a lot of people will try to hide things and oh I think you're too good for me or whatever I think they just they say that to not make you feel so bad maybe maybe some people actually believe it I've never believed it when I said it <laughs> but I mean I think that might be why but they stopped valuing you and that might mean it just is a good time right now to work on yourself and make yourself a better person to pick up a new hobby, to get back in touch with yourself. Because somewhere along the way, I bet you lost track of yourself and you became all about this person. That's why it hurts more that they're gone right now. Because you're like, I put everything into you. But when you put everything into that other person, you lost sight of yourself and how great you are and how you are worth working on, not just the relationship. And that person probably noticed this, and this is probably what resulted from the breakup. It's a loss of value. 
either you it was the loss loss of attraction maybe you stopped taking care of your body it was a loss of um like they were getting bored of you because you were not still bettering yourself you have to keep bettering yourself and then sometimes things just don't work out of course but the best thing you can do right now when you're facing this devaluing experience is add value to yourself by getting re in touch with yourself and clearing your mind while you're going through this withdrawal don't contact the person because they have undervalued you right first of all they're wrong but you need to get back in touch with yourself and prove that to yourself second of all if you contact them and begging them to come back to you it doesn't make them value you more so don't do that that is let me repeat it that is not going to make them value you more don't do it groveling coming back calling texting that's not going to make them value you more or bring back the value that you had when you first met the only thing that will do that is to take time and work on yourself you will be okay i promise you i have other videos on this if you're trying to get back with that person it's all kind of a little around the same long around the same lines i know you're going through a hard time and you will be okay and um just stay strong take a deep breath and i promise you everything will be okay